Running the numbers on a side-by-side -side triplex in a high-end neighborhood in Cleveland, Ohio. John from California, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, John from Cali, my man, what is up? Uh, this is becoming a regular occurrence, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, you constantly purchasing these analysis from me. Uh, I love the business, I love the patronage, thank you. And I think this is great for your investment career because you are doing your due diligence. On every property that you are looking into in the Cleveland market, you're getting an analysis from me and then you're also making it contingent on a third party home inspection. So by doing these things, you know, we can never guarantee the amount of cash flow you will or won't make every single month. It's rental real estate, man. There's so many, un there's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. But what we can ensure is you don't make a colossal error. You're out there in California. We're here in Cleveland, totally different market, uh, but you're doing it the right way. You're being smart. You're making sure all your ducks are in a row before you make a purchase. So this latest property that you had found, 1303 West 106 Cleveland 44102. This is a side-by-side -side duplex. It's a larger property. It's been on the market <clears throat> 91 days as I make this video. Uh, we have on one side of it, we have three beds, one bath, currently rented for $900 a month. The other side is four beds, one bath, also rented for $900 a month. So our total monthly income coming into this bad boy, $1,800 a month or $21,600 a year. That, of course, is not all the money you're going to make. You won't make $21,600. We have expenses, which I will go through momentarily. But first, I wanted to uh, read what the listing agent said because we have some uh, pretty upgraded fixtures in here, which is nice, or not fixtures, but mechanicals rather, which I like. So I just want to read that quickly to you. <clears throat> this is directly from the agent who I wrote this down. Uh, this is an agent. This property is listed by an agent who works at Howard Hanna. Okay. Rare side-by-side -side duplex, fantastic location in vibrant Clifton, West Boulevard, Edgewater area. Spacious units, three bedrooms in each unit, finished third floor. The furnace and hot water tank in the left unit are only a year old. Right unit's furnace is five years old. Hot water tank is two years old. Plumbing and electrical panels updated. Full basement for storage. Close to Edgewater Park uh, and beach. Restaurant shopping, coffee shops, boutiques, and more, including Gordon Square Ar Arts District. Five minutes to downtown Cleveland, 15 minutes to Hopkins Airport, 10 minutes to major highways, 20 minutes to University Hospital and Cleveland Clinic. Great opportunity for owner occupants or investors to schedule an appointment today. It's occupied by two tenants, so I don't really think uh, <clears throat> it would be a great opportunity for owner occupants, uh, but I will agree that uh, you know it's a unique and interesting opportunity uh, for investors. Um, they're right. This is a good neighborhood. You were right, John. This is a good neighborhood. You had asked me a few questions specifically uh, when you ordered this analysis. Uh, the first question, what is the max rent given this is an A-class area and what would it take in renovations to get that? I think this is only worth it if the three and four bedroom bring in a premium uh, and you want to know what work <clears throat> it needs done. Your other question was the rents, which I already went through. And uh, just uh, you just want some more... Uh, information on my thoughts on the neighborhood the anal you know the analysis of this property itself so let's like go into uh you know market right here because right now 900 900 so it's 1800 a month 21,600 a year does it pencil out does it make sense can you increase that rent looking at what we got here is the home uh first thing just on a general philosophy basis uh Whenever you have the opportunity 
to get a side-by-side -side duplex as opposed to an up-down duplex, take that opportunity. If you have two duplexes uh, that all things are the same, uh, the side-by-side -side is going to be the better product uh, every time. That's going to reduce your turnover cost. You uh, have a side-by-side -side duplex. You don't have someone living above or below someone. A lot less noise disturbances, so the tenants are less likely to move out as frequently because tenants bothering each other leads to a lot of uh, tenants moving out, which of course is going to increase all of your costs. Your leasing costs are higher, so you know you're paying more to the property management company. Uh, your 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 turnovers, you got to do a turnover renovation, so that's going to increase every time, right? If you get one tenant that lives in a unit for five years straight, you don't have to repaint or refresh that unit for five years. If you get in that same five year period, you know five tenants are turning over, you're probably repainting, you know, three to five times. So <clears throat> side by sides, I love that this is side by side. Always, 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 if you have the opportunity to go side by side over up down, take it. The thing is, the side by sides they're they're rare. There's not as many of those built in the Cleveland market. They just built a ton, a ton of up-down duplexes between like 1900 and like 1935, which is where you're going to see the majority uh, of these rental properties in the Cleveland market. This one, just so you know, this is a 1900 build, so it's about 120 years old. Um, but going through the photos, you know, nice classic hardwoods. Uh, <clears throat> space looks like I got like a textured ceiling. Uh, this is big. Okay, this is the kitchen. Now, as you can see, this is kind of a dated kitchen, so that's going to be important when we uh, determine the market rent for this, see if we can't get you a premium, because this kitchen, you're not going to be able to increase the rent of this property uh, higher than it is right now with a kitchen looking like that. Let's see here. Bathroom, you got the ceramic tile, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't like the uh, wooden toilet seat. Uh, the tub surround, it's already kind of got the tile, but it is looking a little grimy. Um, as for the vanity, like this vanity, that is an old, like just crummy, shitty vanity. Uh, so you definitely want to swap out both of those fixtures. Uh, just a picture of a little closet, another room. Okay, and then just a sign for the neighborhood. <clears throat> so... Assuming the other unit uh, looks like this one, which I, I don't see why it wouldn't, um, I think if you're gonna, at the next turnover, do anything, you wanna do, I would say a fifteen to $20,000 reno, and uh, a lot of the cost to that reno is gonna be, A, these are big units, right? These are multi-floor units, so your, your painting and stuff like that, uh, it's hard to tell from the photos if the hardwoods are going to need work. So assuming they do need work, you can get like the full stellar, beautiful unit for between 15 and 20K. And what that's going to get you, refinished hardwoods, you want to go with the gray color scheme. They did just did like a, like a lower end, just like all the same color. You see that in a lot of low income rentals. Uh, they'll literally just paint one color, everything, trim, walls. You don't want to do that. You want to go with the gray, agreeable gray, the white. Freshly refinished hardwoods, and then you know the kitchen. Assuming the other unit has a kitchen and bath with similar uh, old dated fixtures like that, if they were like <clears throat> fresh, brand new, modern, we would have assumed the agent who's listing the property would have gone out of his way to get those photos because that'd be a huge selling feature. Uh, so you definitely, you know, that budget's going to allow you to go ahead and put in new cabinetry, you know, nice uh, quartz or granite countertop, undermount sink, and then you know get rid of that dated old shitty vanity. You know, a nice uh, vanity. Um, <clears throat> We just recently launched the first episode of the House Flipping Show, okay? I will put that episode in, in the show notes for you. Uh, in there, you know, my partner, John, uh, he's in the bathroom talking about uh, the vanity we put in the bathroom and the fixture. It's different than the fixture we usually do in our rentals. Uh, our rentals, we use cheaper vanities, still modern, um, but this one, because it was a flip, a flip home, uh, we went even higher end. Since you're in a higher end neighborhood and we're trying to target a very high rent amount, because like if you're talking duplexes in the Cleveland market, I mean, we're already at 900. It's a pretty high rent for duplexes. I mean, I'm talking like, you know, John's comparing that to normally like $700 rentals. Uh, we use a much higher end fixture in this particular flip. So I think for <clears throat> this property, you want to use fixtures 
uh, that are in line uh, with what we used in that flip because it's such a high-end property. So I'll put in the show notes below, uh, I'll put a link to the, the first episode of the House Flipping Show. You could check that out. And more or less, we need to make these uh, units look like they did in the house we flipped uh, in that show uh, at your turnover if you want to increase your rents. I believe <clears throat> that uh, we can get you from the $900 range right now uh, up to around the $1,200 range for that three bedroom unit. And the one that's got four bedrooms, uh, I'm a little perplexed specifically as to what's going on. I, Cause they said like finished third floor. I don't know if it's like, like split all the way up to the third floor. It doesn't sound like it. I've seen a lot of side by sides where they're split like the whole way down and there's two separate basements. Based on the agent's notes, it sounds like there's one common basement which leads me to believe that there's probably a common third floor, and that is probably only accessible to one of the units, which is why one of your units is a three bed and the other is a four bed. If that's the case, I believe you can probably get your rent up to maybe $1,350. Now, th those are optimistic rents, um, <clears throat> but the neighborhood is, is stellar. Like, going to the, the map here, right? So here is the lake. Here's Edgewater Park. Here's your property. You got some nice uh, restaurants. Like you got a martini and wine bar, Don's Lighthouse. I mean, this is a very nice uh, area. You got all this stuff here, like right up in the Lakewood area, um, like the northern stuff. So like this, this is this is a high demand area. So the rents, <clears throat> I, I can't guarantee you right on the nose we get those exact numbers, but you provide a really high and product to those folks, uh, you should be in the 12 to 1350 range for each of these units. And again, it's probably going to run you about $40,000 total, about 20 k per unit. I don't think it makes sense for you uh, to do that right now specifically. Like, I don't think you want to buy it and then immediately uh, shell out more money. I ran the numbers for you based on the existing uh, tenants and the property. It doesn't make much money. Um, you know, admittedly, but it doesn't lose money. So I just want to run through that quickly uh, before I give you like what I like, why I think that you sh should just like let it ride for a little bit. Let me let me show you the numbers I believe we're working with. So we're bringing in twenty one thousand six hundred a year, eighteen hundred a month. Just uh, shooting down here monthly, right? Your repairs, your vacancy, your capex. I estimated ninety for all three of those. Taxes, you're going to pay two eighty six insurance it's a little bit more expensive of a building right it's a hundred eighty five thousand dollar building uh, so you're probably going to be spending about 120 a month water sewer should be about 150 a month these are larger units uh, so if you get like larger families that could increase that but also a nice thing though is these are going to be high-end tenants so if they run into something like a, a water leak you know they're more likely to let us know about it as opposed to like a, a lower income tenant you know folks that live in like, you know, rent rental apartments that are above a thousand bucks are generally much more responsible than folks who live in the six to seven hundred dollar range. So I, I wouldn't <clears throat> necessarily anticipate you having like a big increase in your water bills just because the units are so big, just because of that stuff, right? When we see these super high water bills, it's usually like a leak the tenant doesn't tell anybody about. Like, oh man, my toilet was running for a month. I didn't really think I should tell you guys about it though. Like they don't think about it because they're not paying the water sewer. You are, uh, but these folks typically, you know, you get a little better reaction out of them. Lawn care, we're about 33 bucks a cut. We got to do it about 16 times a year. So that averages out to 44 a month. Uh, and then the PM, my favorite expense category, 180 a month. So your total expenses, estimated expenses should be 1050 a month. So you're bringing in 1800 a month. R reasonably, we can uh, budget that you're going to spend 1050, which leads you with a net operating income of seven fifty a month, or over the entire year, that's nine thousand dollars. Moving on to the next chart, if you're making an average of nine grand and you buy this property for one hundred eighty-five, your cap rate is four nine. Um, if you finance it right, which you should, uh, this is definitely a good deal to finance too, because you're only getting ten residential mortgages. So, do you want to do 
like ten fifty thousand dollar mortgages no you want to do 10 big ass mortgages right you're literally quadrupling your money from the bank so these are great ones to finance uh the more expensive properties in the cleveland market so if you financed it you'd be spent uh you'd, you'd have a mortgage down payment of forty six thousand two hundred fifty quickly real quick uh john i know you know this but for anybody else who's watching john's video here you go to holtonwise.com you go to the tools and resource tab I have a mortgage calculator for you, and you can punch in all your numbers, and it will show you your uh, your payments. That's how I always come up with this number. So it gives you your full-on amortization schedule, uh, shows you what, how much you're paying in principal and interest every single month. So when you guys are running these numbers on these properties, you know I got these tools and resources available to you guys free all the time, so you can do the same analysis for yourselves that I'm doing for you guys, right? So, like I said. You got 46250 down, leaves you with the mortgage of 138750 breaking it out monthly, that's 703 a month, or a year, you got that debt service now of 8436 So if you're making an average of 9000 a month, or I'm sorry, if you're making an average of 9000 a year, your, all your expenses are covered, and then you're spending 8436 on debt service. That's only going to leave you with $564 uh, a month in net cash flow, which averages out to 47 bucks a month. So that's a low, that's a low cash on cash return, right? That is a 1.22% cash on cash return, which d does not sound impressive to anyone. However, we have some upside here. So just running the numbers, we have 300, uh, plus 450, so that is $750 a month. So there is an additional estimated $750 a month uh, that you can put on top of that. So in due time, the investment could pay off. I don't think it makes sense though. Like you got to drop $46,250 like today to buy the asset. Um, and yeah, the money, it's not a lot, right? It's only 47 a month, 564. But why would you be in such a hurry uh, to just drop another 40k to get that other 700? I wouldn't. I would just let those tenants ride for a little while. Maybe uh, sign them up for a 12-month lease at their existing rents because you're just buying it. <clears throat> They're going from the old landlord. They got a new landlord. That's when people are getting a little edgy. I would just keep them at 900 bucks. I wouldn't do anything. Just hey guys, you know, let's just sign you a 12-month lease, 900 bucks. Don't worry because at that point, everyone's. Uh, a little bit stressed, I got a new landlord, that's when I see a lot of tenants bail and, and just start over. I don't think you really want to do that, man, because as soon as you get a turnover, it don't make any sense to do anything other than spend 20 grand to get yourself like a top end unit. Uh, but I don't, I'm not a guy that's ever in a hurry to just throw an extra 40K at it. Because like, yeah, an extra 700 bucks a month, uh, but you know, you, 40K though, that's a lot of money to just shell out there. So I would go ahead <clears throat> and avoid artificial turnover. I would, uh, sign them up same amount currently and then after that year they've gotten used to the new property management thing they're not uh you know they're realizing everything so oh, it's no big deal everything's the same as it was then we could you know hit them slowly maybe like 50 bucks or 100 bucks because they're still a little under market and we could kind of hit them slowly in an effort to increase your low cash flow um but you know save you the time and the effort and the money of just having to throw 20 or 40 K uh, right back into your investment. That is what I think the move is. And when you're buying a property like this, like extreme, like worrying about like little amounts of cash flow is not really the big thing. I think the big thing here is the tenants paying down your mortgage. Like you're putting under $50,000 into a close more or less close to a two hundred thousand dollar asset every single year you have tenants paying off eight thousand four hundred thirty six dollars of your debt man i mean this is like a long-term thing here so I, I i like the asset uh i would say this deal is james wise approved given there is the upside but i'm not like super duper in love with it because the cash on cash return is extremely low i don't think it's a bad deal um I don't think you could live off of this deal. Personally, most of my, I've noticed most of my investors, uh, most of the fans of my shows, uh, they, they're attracted to Cleveland because they want to chase that cash flow. John, you're, you're a little different, but I prefer how you invest. 
you're looking uh, for stable long-term investments to park your money, and I think this is it. Um, I think the 1.22% cash on cash return today isn't a big deal because you're not losing money. It's not a negative investment for you right now. And these tenants, man, they're easy going. So I say we just let them keep paying off $8,436 of your mortgage every single month uh, for that first year. And then let's try to, you know, just tack on a little bit money. The whole idea, though, is to really just delay the time where I need to come to you and say, hey, John, you got a, you got, you got two vacancies now. I need you to, you know, send in $40,000 so Holton Wise Contracting can get in there and do the work. I don't want to have to ask you for an extra $40,000. I'd rather see you take that $40,000 right now and put it into another $200,000 asset, right? Why take 40 grand today immediately to control, you know, to spend $40,000 worth of stuff to get a little bit extra cash flow when you could take that same 40 grand and go ahead and control four times as much real estate and then have other high, you know, high quality tenants paying off the debt. That is at least my strategy how I would choose to uh, to go forward uh, if I were to purchase this property. Now, as far as the price though, right? Because again, I, I understand that the numbers are not super sexy today. Does the price hold weight? So I wanted to, of course, give you the comps. I pulled the comps in an urban area, right? I always do quarter mile comps uh, within a six month range. So what we got for you here is we had two, two properties sold. This one, 1298 West 111th. This is actually a triplex, so it's like the regular one, uh, second floor, and then they finish the attic. And as you see here, boom, the fire escape. So that means it's a legal one. They got that uh, sec uh, second form of egress, which you need. Okay, and here's your units. It's nothing super spectacular, but nothing too horrible. Uh, it's definitely a little dated, right? Yours is dated, your kitchen's dated, but you know, so is this kitchen right here. It's not the, the greatest looking kitchen. So, you know, another reason, right, that I don't think you need to like immediately throw all your money at the property. Like, you know, this one, it's dated, had tenants in there. Uh, the agent never listed the amount of rent they were paying. Um, but I just wanted to show you the value that can be held uh, in this particular neighborhood. So this property, which, you know, like here's your third floor bathroom, right? This is obviously a kind of a wonky awkward bathroom um, but you know and just so you know these are gravity furnaces uh, I've actually had a couple of people on the YouTube uh, on the YouTube channel Holton Weiss TV there some people I tell everyone in my analysis uh, that you know furnaces are gonna last you 34 years in the Cleveland market and I've had people be like oh it's bullshit they're not gonna last that long when you see a furnace that lasts over 30 years well just so you guys are aware these furnaces right here are probably uh, if not, they're, they're probably not original, but these are probably like 60, 70 year old furnaces. So uh, furnaces, de saying 30 years on a furnace is not, is not uh, necessarily, uh, uh, it's, it's not a stretch, guys. It's just, it's fact. They, they last that long. Oops, lost my page. I got two more photos I want to show you. Let me go to the last two. Here's the three electric panels uh, for that triplex. And then here's the three hot water tanks. You know, probably like, 10, 10, maybe five, you know, so nothing super new. And this property, they listed it at 229 and it sold for uh, 190,000. So, you know, <clears throat> even though the cash on cash return isn't that great, I think this is a, a great representation uh, to prove that the value's there. And, you know, if you're parking your money, I'm not worried too, too much about the cash flow. A little bit of cash flow is nice, a little bit of upside later down the road. But I like the fact that I got high quality tenants that aren't going to cause a lot of problems, paying off a bunch of your debt. So you're quadrupling your cash. And you know that the money's safe because it holds value because this property, right, arguably a less value property, in my opinion, because you have the really old furnaces where we have pretty new uh, mechanicals at this property and I would rather have two really large really nice units I'd much rather have uh, two units bringing in over a thousand bucks a month than I would have I'd, I'd like to have like three units with like like a wonky third floor kitchen like triplexes are cool like the whole goal with these residential mortgages is to get the most expensive properties with the most rent coming in Typically, you achieve that uh, by having more rent checks, like three fours. Like quads are my favorite, but 
at the end of the day, an attic apartment is still an attic apartment. Yeah, it's a legal apartment. Um, if it was, you know, this triplex or a duplex where they did not finish the third floor, I would say go for the triplex every time. But it's not. It's this triplex versus a very huge side-by-side -side duplex, which in that case, I kind of I like that better. And then the second comp, the other one, uh, this one, they listed it at 164.9. It sold for, where is the sales price? 152. Uh, this was also a duplex converted, right, to a triplex, but the rents were all old, uh, or low rather. The rents were all low rather. So this shows me that this is kind of like a beat up property. They never did anything. 650, 655 and a quarter. We know market value rents are much, much higher. And the agent did not include any photos on this bad boy. All we have here is uh, this photo. Uh, but as you can see, you got like peeling paint all over this thing. Weeds, shit everywhere. It's super low rents. Uh, so what that leads me to believe is this is just like a dogged, uh, neglected property with a decent amount of, uh, you know, delayed maintenance, deferred maintenance rather, that needs to take place. And this still sold for 152 so with the one selling at 152 the other selling at 190 yours listed at 185 uh, if you bought it for 185 i don't think you're overpaying i think you're going to have no problem getting it to appraise uh, it's been on the market for that 91 days based in indianapolis indiana fs houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. Hey, welcome back. That was a quick word from uh, the sponsor of today's investment analysis. You may have noticed on my shirt here, FS Houses. Uh, everyone who's watching this video, I have all of their contact info in the show notes below. I want you guys to click on that, check them out. I am doing all this stuff up here in the Cleveland market for you all. But these guys, they're offering the same type of... Uh, uh, same high level of service. They're working with investors in similar capacities down there in the Indianapolis market, right? They're brokers too. So they do the turnkey stuff, but they can also help you buy stuff off the MLS or buy stuff that needs repair. Uh, so definitely check out FS Houses. Their info in the show notes below. FS Houses, guys, check them out. Uh, but John, back to your investment analysis here. Um, yeah, man, that's that's more or less everything i got uh like i said it's been on the market 90 days uh i would assume that uh it's, it's taking a little bit longer to sell just because we're at the higher end of the price spectrum right i said earlier in the show the majority of the fans of my shows and the majority of out-of-state investors they come to the cleveland market looking for that super cheap uh cash flow this is obviously uh towards the higher end of the market so what you see here uh, people that are attracted to these high cost investments, you know, you see a lot of owner occupied people because like that area, you get a lot of owner occupied people coming in there kind of like house hacking, so to speak. They're buying the property, living in their unit, having the tenant pay off their mortgage. Uh, but it doesn't really work that well uh, for that type of buyer right now because you got two tenants already living there, man. And of course, both the units, they're going to need some refreshing. So the owner occupied buyer is typically someone who wants to buy something with like very little money down, right? They don't like even your down payment, the 46,000. That's not what a owner occupied person is uh, looking to put down. You know, they're looking for like FHA, right? Three and a half percent. 
Uh, and then they don't want to tack another like 20 grand on top of that to make their unit nice, plus deal with kicking a tenant out, right? So I believe it's been on the market for 90 days just because the buyer pool is very, very small, which also could lead me to believe uh, that when writing your offer, you might be able to get a little bit better of a price than the 185. But again, I think the neighborhood uh, will hold that value. And if I'm the seller, uh, I would probably, uh, you know, if I did decide to be tough and counter and stick close to my guns here on the price, I mean, that would be justified, but we don't know their level uh, of motivation. So I would say if I were you, John, I'd probably start, you know, don't give them a rude offer that's going to upset them, but maybe start in the 170s somewhere, maybe the, the low 170s and see where it goes. But if you ended up paying 185, I don't think that'd be a bad deal for you. Like I said, this one is James Wise approved. And uh, I just think it, it makes the most sense strategically uh, not to create that artificial turnover. Don't chase that extra cash flow right now. Just let it come to you slowly, man. Let those tenants just pay off your debt for you now while you're waiting. Because that cash flow, man, it's going to be there for you, right? Don't, don't get in a rush to hand $40,000 to Holton Wise Contracting. We'll, we'll be there for you when it comes time. But right now, you got people in there, man. And uh, we could probably slowly raise those rents. So that, that's pretty much everything I got for you, John. I hope I answer all your questions. For everyone else who's watching this video, uh, if you would like me to do an analysis like this for you on a property that you found, you go to holtonwise.com, you click the property search. Uh, first of all, you wanna click start here, sign up for my mailing list. Also, you can do that in the show notes below, the link to that's there. I'm the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. So if you don't want to pay for an analysis like this, I sell more rental properties than any other real estate agent or broker in the Cleveland market. And I send you guys full video analysis of my properties every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Totally free to view those. But there's a lot more going on in Cleveland than just what I sell. I sell the most, but there's like 5,000 other realtors. You got wholesalers, turnkey providers. Some of you guys out there are doing your own marketing to your own sellers. So if you find yourself another deal like John did. He found this on the MLS, or maybe you're not even finding anything and all the properties selling on my daily list are selling too fast for you, and you just have a criteria, you can go down here and you could pick the analysis product that you want. You can find your own property like John did. This is an entry-level product, uh, and I'll do a desktop analysis from my desk, give you my thoughts on everything. If you want even more, like you want my film crew to actually go inside of that property, we can do that. Or again, if you, if you just like know what you want, but you can't find the property, you could give me your criteria and I will search the MLS looking for properties that best fit your needs. And if your criteria needs adjusting, right? Like if you say, James, man, I want to buy a duplex for a hundred grand and I want it to bring in $10,000 a month. Uh, well, I'm not going to find that for you because that's not possible. Uh, I will show you what the best, the closest thing to your goals is and also correct uh, your thought process on the market because you can't buy what ain't there. So I'll give you a, a nice educational rundown of what you can expect to buy. So you guys can do all that and to see more content uh, from us, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like it and share it. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. 
So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.